How's it going, YouTube? And it's been a long time. Two weeks that I've been gone. And why have I been gone? Well, I, I expected to take a little break because my dad had heart surgery. And he's doing great, by the way. After that heart surgery, like, it, it, it just seems like everything's on the up and up. So that's all good, right? The day after I got back from my dad's uh, heart surgery, I go to work. I get called in the office. And I get told that the CEO of this company I work for has decided to cut back a whole bunch of people to one day a week. And I was one of those people. So, I was really depressed. I was like, I need to get another job. So, I was focusing on that. I got another job. I got a huge ass raise compared to what I was making at the other place. And I'll be doing the same stuff. So I'm like, and everything at this moment, two weeks in, after all this, like, depression and just, like, everything going wrong. Feels like now everything's going right. And today, I got my big old box from Discount Comic Book Services. So I thought, it's time to get back into the swing of things. It's time to get, you know, get out of that depression. So I thought, you know, do a little um, opening of the box. As you can tell, I got my medical scissors because, you know, being a medical field, <laughs> These scissors are a lightsaber. And mind you, this uh, pair has not actually been used at my work. This is actually my at-home one. And it does a job quite well. So this is an 8-pound box full of independent comics. So I'm really excited to open this thing up. Like my dog, I'm just throwing that stuff in there. He's like, what? Why are you throwing everything at me? <laughs> Look at this. Eight pounds of comics. Now, I love discount comic stores for the prices that they give. Oh, free board, I guess. I love how on discount comic book stores, how cheap everything is. Um, most of these comics are at like $2.75 uh, or something like that. So that's a considerable... Um, Savings like I'm usually saving almost Yeah, I almost get all the books 50% off Which is great 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 More card <laughs> Good. Oh, okay. There I got All uh, uh, oh, these comics. I don't know which way cuz you go back back. All right Let's see how the fun begins All right first book Stronghold, issue number two. I really enjoy Stronghold, issue number one. We have the story of a godlike being who doesn't know he's a god. And there's this organization that's making sure that he doesn't figure it out because somehow there is a um, whole entire thing where if he finds out who he is, all hell's going to break loose and basically the destruction of Earth, I think. So, really intrigued to read issue number two. So many books. Ooh, Rise, issue number one by Scout Comics. Look at that cover. That cover's absolutely gorgeous. No idea what this book's about. Uh, I'm just trying out so many different publishers and so many different independent comics. And now, since everything seems to be going right, I'll start back in reviewing all these. Ooh, this is one I've been really looking forward to. This came out, or was supposed to come out in January. Off Beats, issue number one. It's supposed to be like a Quentin Tarantino slash Tintin. Let's see if this helps with the glare a little bit. Uh, not really. So this is supposed to be like a Quentin Tarantino meets Tintin. One of the books I was really, really super looking forward to reading. Next book. And I love how I don't know really what I'm going to get. Monstrous. European get Gateway or Getaway. No idea what this is about. Issue number one. But look at this cover. These covers are absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous covers. I love me some gorgeous covers. And I just love how when you read so many Marvel and DC books, you kind of get the same thing over and over. But with Independence, you just never know what you're going to get. James Bond 007, issue number 5. I have read up to issue number 3. I need to read the latest two issues. But 
I, I have been enjoying this. It's really cool to see James Bond and, um, oh, I forget what this guy, this character's name is, but seeing them interacting with each other and playing different, because I don't know if in the movie, because I, I haven't, I know him in the films. I know I've seen, you know, videos of him and whatnot, but I actually haven't seen the movie, so I don't know if he plays a, sp a spy also, or is he just a generic uh, James Bond villain in the films, but. It's really cool to see him. Uh, a new one by Atonic Press, Antarctic Press, Tainted Love, issue number one. Uh, I just decided to give this little uh, romantic comedy a try, see how I like these books. Because I've, I've found like avant garde, um, uh, sweetie, these um, female centric books, I find like they're really good. So give this one a try. The Warning, issue number five. Uh, I need to catch up with, I haven't read issue number four yet, but the story is intriguing. We got this aliens that are uh, sent out a warning that they're about to invade Earth, and our um, heroes, basically, they get genetically altered. They're superheroes, basically, and they're trying to stop this incoming invasion. Appalachian Apocalypse, issue number three. Uh, the series has been a lot of fun. We have the staff that was found or that was brought to America back in the early days of America. The uh, Civil War happens. They try to use this weapon. Um, the I don't know if it was the Confederates or if it was the Yankees, but they decide to bury it in this cave. Well, us and today we found this cave and this staff has the ability to bring back or the dead so some cool little stuff here it's a lot of zombie fun um very cartoonish in nature but it's lots of fun alien three issue number five uh i really am okay with this series um hearing about this thing being a, uh, based off of the original screenplay that was not produced um, it's a lot better than the actual film that came before it. It's very slow, like the first Alien movie. And it seems like with this issue, all hell is finally going to break loose. The final issue of Crimson Lotus, issue number five. Uh, this was my first uh, forte into the Hellboy universe. And I did not know that going into it. I should have known by the whole entire, um, from the pages of Hellboy. But I really enjoyed this series. It really feels like it's new reader friendly, which was really nice. And you're getting the orange origin of this so-called Crimson um, Lotus. Another new number one, Neon Future issue number one. I think this book is going for about $15 on eBay. And I got it for like $1.99. Yeah, good sale. Good, good price. Um, what got me to read this book is just the cover. The cover alone, just like, looks so beautiful intriguing i love all the neon colors that you get from this and then to come to find out it's based on an album that this um that this guy put out and so i think the album is called neon future also never heard of it but i'll get the comic track william the last issue number um flight fight and flight or flight and fight issue number one I still need to read the first volume. Um, but the first issue of William the Last was really, really good. Uh, it had this very much a really fun fairy tale type of uh, story that it seemed like it was trying to tell. We had this boy lived at the bottom of um, this cliff. And he climbs up the cliff and finds out that there's another world. Or more to his world than he even imagined. So that's all these books right here. All right, more books. Oberon, issue number two. Um, it has the feel where this girl. I, I kind of I need to go reread issue number one. I re think I remember that there's this fairyland. Has the um, feel of like a little bit like Sparrowhawk, but not as good as at all as Sparrowhawk. So I need to go back and read issue number one because I don't really remember all the beats. <laughs> You know how it is when you read so many comics. It's just like... <laughs> uh, nice issue number four. 
This is the final issue of this series, I believe. I don't know if it's a five issue or four issue. Uh, it's been an okay. Uh, nothing to write home about. But since it was four issues, it's like, oh, I'll just finish it out just so I can have the whole entire series. But definitely nothing to write home about. You got story of an assassin and a cop and their uh, lives converging. Mor uh, Morning uh, in America. Issue number one by Oni Press. No idea what this book's about, but it seems like it has, um, I just like, I like the cover. No idea what it's about. But I saw this book at my comic book store, which I was surprised that they actually picked it up. And I was like, oh man. And the book hasn't moved at all at the comic store. That's why I go to, um, discount comic book service to get these books that, I don't want my comic book store to go and get because usually if you order one they'll order some more because they'll just sit there and so I'm just like I'll get it cheaper and just have to wait a little bit for a discount comic book service God of Bad Men issue number two now issue number one was okay uh, the art was decent at best it has a story of this so called God and he is the God of Bad Men Another, this is another issue. I had to go reread issue number one because it was not very clear on where the story wants to go. It was very much a um, amateurish type of book, so I don't know if I'll be. Pick I know it's like only a four issue series, so I may just pick up on the rest. Uh, Blossom six six six, issue number two. This is this was like my first uh, for for foray and or my first experience into the uh, Archie horror universe uh, really like this one where you got these the blossom um twins i think they, they are they pull on a party they're about to uh, sacrifice jughead i think and it's just a really fun book and then that made me go and get another archie book uh sabrina the teenage witch i loved the netflix series <coughs> want to go and get all the um chilling adventures all the single issues so I can say I have them in my collection. So I decided give uh, this new Sabrina a chance. Savants, issue number three. I've only read issue number one. Uh, I have issue number two. I haven't read it yet. Because you get so many books. And it's just like, oh my god. I should have took it this time just to read them. But I was just so depressed. Man. But Savants is kind of like the X-Men. You have all these um, people that have all these abilities. Uh, this organization is coming to get some of them together. And it seems like that it's kind of more focusing on this one girl. So, and it's pretty good for an independent book that seems, I think it's like this first, uh, the writer and the artist is the first time into books and into comics. And it's it's pretty good. Scout Comics, Star Bastard edition number one. No idea what it's about, but Star Bastard. It's just, it just rolls off the tongue. Oh, nice. Didn't know I was getting this one, too. Uh, well, uh, I knew I was getting it, but I didn't know I was getting it in this uh, haul. William the Last, Fight and Flight, issue number two. Awesome. Awesome stuff. And the uh, William the Last, if you want to uh, read this one digitally, it's like only 99 cents per issue. There's only five issues in the series. So $5 to get the whole entire series. That's not a bad price at all. Ooh, I love Wolfborn issue number one. This was my favorite out of the independent, like the super independent books. Um, the artwork in here is gorgeous, like just absolutely gorgeous. And it's very minimal at times with the dialogue, but you had this um, man who's going almost like through this labyrinth, and he meets these hellish creatures and it's just so beautiful the way how it is in black and white and it's very minimal in the dialogue but when our character does speak it's like wow okay this is like some really really good stuff cemetery beach issue number seven i'm not sure if this is the final issue but this has been a roller coaster of a ride um a lot of times in this book it's I reading it month to month, it felt like there was no progression. But if you read it as a whole, 
the pace is just absolutely just fast. Like you get done with the you want more, and sadly you have to wait a month, and you're kind of like. When you're waiting that whole entire month, you're like, mm, did I really get as much as I need? But this Cemetery Beach is basically Mad Max, but in a, a cool little sci-fi. Um, Honor and Curse, issue number two. We have this guy who is a um, who is supposedly supposed to be the best in his class for uh, to be a samurai, and he loves he's fallen in love with the emperor's daughter and they can't be together so it's like a romeo and juliet and first issue really got me you know it was really good uh has a lot to do with him with our main character and his past and some of the hellish things he's gone through gretel issue number one no idea what this is about but hey it's always it's just like these books i just each one be so different from each other Oh, this is a second uh, series that this Cave um, Picture Publishing has put out. It's uh, George McDowell, McDonald's Princess. The Light Princess. <laughs> the Light Princess. Uh, no idea what this is about, but I liked Appalachian Apocalypse, which was their first um, series that they put out. So I thought, give the second one a try. And another uh, new number one by the same publisher, The Blessed Machine, issue number one. No idea what it's about, but you'll be hearing about it here. Now, this book is like seven bucks, right? And I got it for like four ninety nine, so I got it for like five bucks. So I got two dollars off on Firefly, issue number one, uh, Bad Company. It's a store, it's a one shot about this one gal so i'm really intrigued to see where that goes dark red issue number one no idea what it's about but it's an, an aftershock book and i love the aftershock series prodigy issue number um four <coughs> mark millar or miller has been putting out so many books lately and this book it's okay uh, we have this man who is a genius and he's out to stop this alien invasion from happening. And so it, it's a fun little adventure ride. The Goon, issue number one. Um, I remember reading some Goon books back in the day. So to hear about this revamp, uh, I was definitely down with it. And uh, next month i'll be getting the uh cardstock of an alex ross cover of the goons i'm really excited about that i had to pay like six bucks for it but i think it'll be worth it blackbird issue number six uh sam humphrey's uh book about this um girl who in her child when she was a child she saw this event happened and she found out that magic does exist later on in life everything's gone wrong and she comes to find out that yes there might be something special about her but it may be really effed up so one of my favorite series going on right now gunning for hits issue number three this is a series about a um guy who works for the music industry back in the 90s trying to sign this big band and come to find out that his past is starting to come back and haunt him it's very much a, a music thriller so it's really fun it's like each issue has so much content, so much uh, meat to the bone to the series that it will actually take you about 30 minutes to read because there's just so much to it. Like you, the art is just absolutely brilliant, the writing is just so strong that you you just you love these characters when they get introduced. Like the last issue, we got introduced to this uh, one accountant guy who is absolutely crazy, but comes around in the end that just makes you go I can see why they keep him around and finally out of, the, out of all these books Murder Falcon issue number 6 uh, really have been digging this series I think after issue number 8 it's all done uh, we got the story of this um, These this portal has opened up all around the world these creatures are coming out basically like Pacific Rim 
And our main character has learned that his guitar has the ability to call out the Murder Falcon and all these other instruments that his bandmates have taken up. I have the power to call these magical creatures that can fight these um, bad villains that have come out. And so it's been really fun. A lot of good artwork in there, especially the artwork. The artwork is amazing. So those are all the books that I picked up on my discount comic book store. And that's a ridiculous amount. I think next week or next month, because I get this all once a month, it's going to be even more ridiculous. I think I spent like 200 bucks on all these different independent books. So now that I got myself a new job, now that I, self, I feel like I'm back in the saddle again, I am ready to start reviewing books. And also, uh, Marvel has a Marvel Unlimited, so I'm going to go and start doing a series on different runs that have happened with different characters and dive deep and be like a first time experiencing. So like Marvel, I'm very, I, I'm not really, um, I haven't jumped into Marvel as much as DC. And then DC Unlimited has just announced at um, WonderCon that they are going to be putting out all, every single digital comic that they got is going to be on that service. And every single new series that's coming out, once the book has, once the, is, the single issue has been out for 12 months or for a year, they're going to have it go on to the service for that $5.99 price tag. So there's going to be thousands and thousands of comics for me to read from Marvel and DC. I'm going to do it that way. And if I really love the series, I'm going to go on hunt for those issues in the back issues of comic book stores around me. And I think that'll be a fun little series to start to do. So it feels good to be back in the saddle. I hope you guys all enjoyed. My name's David, and I hope you all have, are having a great day. I know I am, especially now since I know that I got a job, and it feels like everything's coming back together. So I'll see you guys next time on My Comic Life.